in our previous chapter we learned a lot about snowflake permanent table or so called standard table but we did not discuss about global table do we really have a concept of global table in snowflake and if so why do we really need global table in snowflake so in this tutorial we will quickly understand what is global table and their definition in the traditional data warehouse systems we will explore if global table is really possible in snowflake if so how and if not why not and we will finally see if we can create a global table how does it look like and what is the cost associated with it welcome back to my channel data engineering simplified everything covered in this video can be tried out with snowflake's free trial edition it grants all full privileges and enables all the features if you have any technical questions need architectural advice or want guidance on starting or migrating snowflake project don't hesitate to reach out to me on my instagram account you can also join my exclusive facebook channel by scanning the qr code to request access let's quickly discuss some of the very popular database or data warehouse systems in oracle a global table typically refers to a distributed database concept rather than a standard table type in mysql another popular database provides a storage engine called federated that allows you to create tables that reference data remote mysql server microsoft sql server allows you to create linked servers which enable you to access data from another sql server instances or even other databases system like oracle we will not deep dive into the technical details of how it operates but when migrating your data workload from such legacy databases snowflake cloud data warehouse platform there may be a need to migrate your sql script in such cases it would be good if snowflake also offer support for global tables or at least support for the syntax and that's what we are going to see next in this video here i am in my snow site web ui so this is my database and this is my schema i am using rule system admin with compute underscore wh virtual warehouse now first let's check if we have any table available in this schema i do not have any tables in this schema looks good now i am going to create a table called exchange rate standard and i am not using any classifier if i do not use any classifier by default it will create a standard table or a permanent table and in most of the organization exchange rate is enterprise level data and the right candidate for such global concept so let me create this table under the database des and schema demo so my exchange rate table is created now let's run the show table like command to list the table detail this is my exchange rate standard table and the kind value for this row is table this looks good now in the line number 24 i added a classifier called global and that's how we do in other database platforms let's see what happens when i try to run this ddl statement it ended with syntax error saying unexpected table what does it mean in the line number 24 it is not expecting this keyword table or maybe it is expecting something else in snowflake you can use the keyword global but it cannot be used with a standard table for that global keyword is supported only for temporary table so you have to use another classifier called temp temp or temporary okay let's try doing that so my exchange rate table is created with classifier global now what does it mean let me run this show command if you see the result on the screen the second table is a standard table and the first table is a global table and if you look the kind column the global table is classified as a temporary so snowflake supports keyword global however it cannot be a permanent table it has to be a temporary table so what we can say if we create a table with classifier global we need to add temporary and eventually the table which gets created becomes a temporary table and it has nothing to do with global scope if we have to make something accessible globally then we can certainly play with 
role based access control and if you haven't seen my video on role based access control you can watch this particular chapter from my snowflake tutorial so if we create a global table which is primarily a temporary table these are the property of a temporary table temporary table only exist within the session other sessions even other users cannot access the temporary table outside of the session where it is created maximum time travel or a retention duration value one day or we can say 24 hours fail safe feature is not applicable for temporary table and once a session is closed the data available in the temporary table is not recoverable so this is the meaning of global table in snowflake context so does it incur cost yes as long as it holds the data it will incur cost but temporary tables are having a one day time travel and it does not have a fail safe feature enabled so global temporary tables are much more cost efficient compared to the standard table because the standard table has more than one day time travel feature if you have specified plus it has seven days fail safe feature also enabled by default so now you know how to handle the keyword global if you are working on any migration project and you have to migrate your existing existing ddl from legacy platform to a snowflake cloud data warehouse what changes are applicable or required the snowflake tables hold many key insights to become a snowflake cloud data warehouse pro make sure to catch all the videos in this playlist thanks for tuning in to this quick tutorial if you have found it valuable hit the like button by doing so youtube will serve up more snowflake content from my channel to help you on your snowflake learning journey happy learning and keep on growing